Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to update everybody and let everyone know that I had baby Rowan on May 4th. I had him at exactly 39 weeks. Uh, so that's why you don't see a 39 week update is because the day I turned 39 weeks, I went into labor. I had woken up in the morning and my water had broke. So we got to the hospital and um, I ended up needing a little bit of Pitocin to get the labor started more. When I arrived at the hospital, I was five centimeters dilated. Um, they got us into a room and uh, started Pitocin. And I also had requested the epidural because um, where I live and uh, when they give us the epidural here, it's um, for me anyways, I can still feel my legs and move my legs around and feel the labor just um, the pain is really um, decreased, so I'm much more comfortable. I have delivered um, my third child without the epidural, and um, I was induced. I typically have to be induced. Um, whether my water breaks or I get contractions, it never ends up being um, enough. My first child, I went fully on my own without Pitocin, but my last three, six children, I did end up needing Pitocin. And delivering natural with the Pitocin, um, for me it was uh, just like a really, really painful and I was really uncomfortable. But I did want to experience delivering without the epidural. And um, it was really, really nice. But I feel that if labor would come on on its own without the Pitocin, it would be easier to deliver children naturally. Um, not that it isn't natural with the epidural, but... It is a different feeling with the epidural. A lot of the pain is decreased with the epidural and you tend to be more comfortable, more relaxed. And I feel that um, both ways are, are the perfect ways. Um, just depends on you and your preference. Uh, so yeah, so they started it and my labor was just a few hours, couple hours, it was really quick. And he arrived safe and sound. He was eight pounds, five ounces. Um, we named him Rowan Samuel, so um, he is our seventh. Uh, we do have four girls first, and he is our third son. We are so happy to have him. We're so thankful to God for him, and we're so blessed. And just wanted to let you all know that I did have my baby now, and he is here and well, and all is good. And um, it's just been a very, very busy season, a very busy time. I hope to get around to doing some more videos but um, I don't know how consistent I will be. But yes, um, he's here and I did uh, carry to just 39 weeks. So it was a uh, um, you know, really nice, uh, healthy pregnancy. I do wanna add that um, I recovered, um, you know, took a few days. I had some a few, few days off, just kinda relaxing with him on the couch. I'm getting back into the groove of things now. He is um, eight, eight or nine days old today. So, um, but he's doing well. I do want to touch bases on my varicose veins. Um, they feel a lot better now that I delivered big time. They're still big and swollen and everything, but um, they're a lot, lot better since I've delivered him um, way better. I just want to say that um, I did develop a um, SVT. So it, that's just like a um, a bit of a uh, blood clot on the surface of the vein, not on the inner. I was a little bit concerned with that. It felt like a um, my vein felt tight and stiff to the touch, a warm and a little bit red. So I did go into the clinic to get that looked at and luckily um, it's already resolving. It's already going away. I went back on my baby aspirin to help that kind of uh, subside and for everything to flow together better. Um, it was about a few days after baby starting baby aspirin that I started to see it um, clear up. So it's pretty well cleared up now. So I'm really thankful for that and that it wasn't anything too serious. But I reached out to other moms who have varicose veins like I do. And it's actually very common to have um, different types of blood clots afterwards, um, after uh, delivering your baby. So... Um, but all is fine, all is well. It's already pretty well gone, and um, I feel really, really good. Um, I, uh, I ended up gaining about 35 pounds with him, maybe maybe a few pounds more than that. So we are breastfeeding uh, full-time. 
Um, so that's, it's, he's, a, yeah, all is well with the breastfeeding. I'm the type of mom where I breastfeed on demand. I don't typically pipe and uh, freeze any milk unless I absolutely have to. I just feed when I know baby needs to be fed and listen to my body. So that's about it. I hope that I covered a few different things about my birth and my postpartum recovery. And I hope to get back to doing a few more videos in the future or sometime soon. Um, but for now, I'm going to just keep my um, energy on the children, but hopefully soon. And uh, that's about it. So have a great day and I hope that you like this update and talk to you soon. Bye.